What is up guys, how are we doing? Welcome to Bulletproof Mindset, where we bulletproof your mind through health, fitness and just general chit chat and today is just a general chit chat. We're going to go over my weekend, how we do podcasts, how we make content, we're going to go over Dale's new gym. Like wee gym update for you. Wee gym update, how he's doing, the stresses that came with it, the money worries and some embarrassing stories. So let's get right into it. Right, anyway, so let's get crack and lacking, we'll go into my weekend, right? So my weekend was pretty relaxed, I would say, until I went, well, so Saturday morning I woke up to edit the podcast, it's going out, it's probably already out, right? And it wasn't working. What, what episode was it? Was it the 20? Sleep? Oh, sleep one, right? Aye, so, so if you're listening to that and it's shite, it's because James edited it. <laughs> 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 Missed all the cuts and everything. No, 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 I fucking got the cuts, fucking tell you that. So I think a lot of people think podcasting is fucking pretty simple, but there's a... <sighs> If it goes smoothly, it's fine. But this did not go smoothly. You said you were depressed after it. Right? I, like, how did you depression, get depression? Depression. <laughs> so, I'll tell you how I got depression. So, Saturday, right? Uh, no, Tuesday. Uh, <laughs> hey, let's jump back a couple <laughs> of days. Right, so, Tuesday, mo- uh, Tuesday uh, clipped it all. And you know what? I didn't know how to do the transition. So, I was like, I'll do that another day. So, what does that mean for the, the guys listening then? You clipped it all. Clipped it all, which means uh went to Dale, went to me, went to Dale, went to me, went to Dale, went Aye, to me. So right. this is what I mean, like there's two camera feeds just now, guys. So when we get these clips, now we have an option where the the guys at G4 can kindly edit this, but we are pretty tight on money, so I'm poor. <laughs> try to I'm save, fucking poor. Try to save as much money as we can. But we also want to learn this as well. So we yeah. what I'd done for the first fourteen episodes. I'd, I learned it and I got, went through all the hardship. And I was oh, like, well right, done, cool. no, well done, Dale. <laughs> so I was like, right, cool, I've got this now. And then I was like, right, you ready, James? Your turn. So I've, I've gave the baton over to James where we swap cameras in between when somebody speaks. And I gave James a 20-minute crash course. Right, this is what I've learned. Right, fuck off. You I, needed, I needed a 20-hour crash course. <laughs> so James edited it. You changed the other cameras, but you didn't know how to add a wee transition. I didn't know how to add a transition. So I saved it. I went, you know, date on our day. I tried to date on a Friday. And I didn't know how to do the transition, so I went, I don't know, I, I don't why I fuck this up. So, Saturday morning comes, I've got the tours, and I go to the transition, and I fuck something really badly. I fuck up, but I fucked it up. But I fucked it right up. There was no sound, no waveforms, I was texting Dale, I was like, what the fuck's going on? He's like, there's no waveforms, I was like, right. So, I went on, and I YouTubed what's wrong, so I went through one video, didn't work. I went through another video, didn't work. I went through another video, didn't work. I was like, you know what, fuck this shit. So I left it to Sunday. Dale, I quit. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, Dale, I'm out. Fuck this. So I woke up on Sunday. I was like, right, I've got I had three hours to do some stuff. I, I had hundreds of time if I didn't re- need to do redo the full episode. But it doesn't matter. So I went on. There, there are a few more. I was like, what the fuck is fucking wrong? So I went on and then this guy's like, I've got a unique issue. I was like, same mate. On YouTube? Aye. I was like, same. Right, okay. See if I could talk yes. to you right now, I'd be like, same mate, like, I've got the same issue, and he'd be like, oh, oh good, I can help you. This I was is like, fix it. here we go. So he talks me through it, I'm like, this is gonna be it. So I watched the full video, right? It's like five minutes long, not that long, right? But by this point, I'm like, see if this doesn't work, I'm gonna fucking cry. So what I done was, I done his thing, and it fucked it up, and he went, you know what, if, if, if like, as you said earlier, if you re reopen a new project and try it again, if the sound works, there's nothing wrong with the there's nothing wrong with your settings. Done that, the sound worked. I went, you know what? Fuck it, deleted the full fucking thing. <laughs> so by this point, so I am about two and a, uh, two and a half hours done. But I'm leaving two and a half hours done. I'm stressed out my titties, right? I'm stressed out my nut. So I just done it all again. It took me about an hour and a bit. I was gonna say it's a forty-four minute episode, so it's one of the longer episodes as well. Aye. It doesn't mean it takes forty minutes, four minutes to clip because you need to. You're like, oh, I need to go back and get that clip hanged up, and it's like aye. an hour, aye, an hour aye. and a half. Aye, aye. It's, it's, it takes a long time. I never had a text for you. It was like, can I call you? I was like, what's up, Liam? I was like, I'm, I'm at the gym. I'm depressed. <laughs> I would not because I was, um, I was, I was stressed as well because I was at the gym. And you're like, I'm scunnered, and I was like, no, mate, I'm scunnered. I'm moving all these machines. And you went, no. I'm scunner. <laughs> I was like, hey, sympathy for me, man. I'm scunner. And you're like, no, I'm scunner. Like, it was just back, to <laughs> back and forth scunnerness. I, I, I think I was probably more scunner than Dale. I'm not saying my job was harder than Dale's, but I was more scunner mentally. Editing's a hard game. Like, people don't think about it, but like, see everything that goes into podcasting. So we get, we record this, maybe we spend about an hour. An hour actual recording, but we spend about an hour and a half to two hours coming Edit. down, setting up, planning the episode. Yeah. 
And then we get the clips in a couple of days with the, the audio synced up to each individual clip, put that in, edit that. So it's, it's maybe... Oh, the pain. I think there's oh, maybe the a pain. good five to eight hours. That's what I was actually this. thinking about this all day. Because so, then you need to get a thumbnail for yeah. YouTube, you need to get the artwork, and then we clip the stuff to go out for Yeah, so, we're, so here for a, we're here for about an hour and a half. We need to research what we're going to be doing. Which, people, which like, people are listening to this going, we don't care. Which gears the <laughs> no, they, 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 they care, they care. Everybody wants to know, how do, how do they actually do this? Do you think so? Ah, I reckon. I reckon so. You know what I mean? Funny, this is, funny if this is the lowest view definitely. <laughs> nah, we don't care. Nah. <laughs> no, because people, people are like... Thumbs up or thumbs everybody down. Everybody thinks this is a fucking the easy peasy pish. Or they just go and sit and talk and then it's up. No, no. We need to fucking put it up. <laughs> But if MD is a editor out there and they want to get some work experience, we can't pay you, but... Aye, fuck all. Because <laughs> you'll get paid, fuck all. Yeah, we'll give you top class, partner. Aye, oh, I will, I will, they won't. <laughs> <laughs> They'll give you that partner, I'll give you... So you went top. and trained as well, though, didn't you? Did you train? Aye, I went and trained because I was like, I need to fucking get, get, get this place. <laughs> what, your house? Aye, the, 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 the mental barrier in my head. <laughs> what did you train? Just arms. No, you didn't. I did. No, you didn't. You trained arms. I just went to get my testosterone up. Fuck off. Mind was, so as I was speaking about the other and the other, I, I ju you just wanted my testosterone up. You trained arms. I trained arms. I, I couldn't train anything else. I was sore everywhere else. You gave me shit the other day. You see, no, in fact, you actually made a post where you made a comment on this episode saying in in podcasting, uh, one of the episodes saying training arms is a waste of time. <laughs> it was. <laughs> It was, it was good for my mental health, but my mum's having to go any bigger. Wait till Jay hears this one. Oh, he's like, ooh! <laughs> he's going to rip you apart, mate. No, I've done, I done uh, pull-ups and uh, close-cut benches to the compound, so kind of arms. Fair enough. Fair enough. Fair enough. Fair enough. Let me off, let me off. So that's my weekend. That's, it's, podcasting's harder than it looks. <laughs> that, was, that, was my, that was my point there. But look, you have to go through a lot of shit with this editing. Like oh. I said to you, I went through that. Exactly. See the pain? I don't know if you can see it in my eyes right now, but the pain, even think about this. But at least you know next time, if something happens with the audio, you just need to go, right, fuck, I need to start again. Uh, Shit. Aye. Need to aye, I'll start again and give you the deal. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, so see when you edit this week, cut the clip at the start, change it to like 0.5 times speed. Aye, that'll be right. Do you know how you go there? Nah. Nah, it's I won't. Easy. Nah. It's easy going. But let's, let's move on to the next point. Uh, so, the gym is nearly ready, right? As is, is. So th this weekend... Was I probably say last weekend was a big weekend because we got the mats down. What is the name of the gym? Um, actually, still don't know. I mean, you know what? Come I mean, on! So I'm, the people I, want to know. I'll put it up in the screen. I, um, if you're editing this, I'll send you the picture so you can put it up. <laughs> right, 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 right. <laughs> but see the woman. She is. I'm not there. putting fuck all up in the screen. Look what she's editing. Oh, that's amazing! That is. So that's meant to be. Oh, the logo. don't get me wrong. I like this, but I don't like the grey and white. So. I would. I would give her fa two pound for that. Nah, that's I'd give her two pound. She's taking fifty off me, so well, she can get fucked. <laughs> so, like, it's it's all right in the black, but mm. um, right. So, where are we at with setting up the PT studio? The last couple of weeks have been um, kind of changed the look of it. I'm gonna put a wee TikTok up today, so um, I'll share that in the stories. If you check our, our Instagram page, out, you'll see one of us posting about it. Yeah, but we got the mats down. The grass is cut. The slide, the slide area's got, I kept saying, I'm going to cut this grass, John's like, what? <laughs> I was like, no, like, cut it in the side, she's like, all right, right, I see what you mean. Um, Get a lawnmower out. Aye, she's, she's been um, phenomenal, doing all the paint, because mm -hmm. I fucking hate paint. Oh, it's like, so shit. Oh, man, it's like, so bad. cutting in, like, she, so, it's all, all that hallway's done. There's a wee bit to get painted at the back. Some lighting's getting done this week, well, I've got, I've ordered the lights, so... The kind of base foundations it needs to open this week is mm -hmm. I'm going to start training people yeah. here from next week. So that's um, what I'm going. That's what we're going to ask you. So when this podcast does come out, which will be not this Thursday but next Thursday, where will where will you be at? I'll no, be actually, be the Monday after. It'll be Monday after. No, it won't. I don't. <laughs> Make your fucking mind I, up, man. No, I think it'll be next Thursday. I, I don't actually know. Right, but when are you listening to this episode? <laughs> whenever you are. Right, so it'll be about two weeks from now. So where do you expect to be at by that point? So I want the lighting to be sorted mm -hmm. and the the room, the office, the, the podcast room and the studio to be up. Yeah. Maybe not fully complete, but the, the foundations are up. Yeah. And I want to be training my clients there. So I think mm -hmm. all in, we should be good. I will. I should be good to do that from next week. And 
well, I've, I've kind of said that to Manny. I said that uh, as of end of the end of November, I'll be training my clients in there. Yeah. Um. So I, so, so I'll go, man. We bit, we bit scary, but I'm, I can't wait. I honestly can't wait. You should see. In fact, I tell you, you'll know that I'm there when there's more content coming up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. as soon as you see more content 100%, on that's Instagram, you know. TikTok, YouTube Shorts, all that sort of stuff, I really want to get like more and more content now. But I, the, I need to do the bathrooms up or one of the 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 what do you call it? It's like the wee. Um, the one with the heat in it Aye, the, the disabled toilet Whatever you want to call yeah. it So that's to be done um, And then eventually get mirrors in So I've not got I've got the, the dodgy mirrors at the front just now Yeah um, That's probably going to Mirrors and um, another machine mm. Will probably be the stuff that happens Within the next three months But it's not going to be happening For it opening um, I want to make sure everything else is is sorted for then. So, if you don't mind, let, let explain what's in the gym. So, yeah, I put a clip up the other day. So, I mean, I believe, I strongly believe you, for my training and the, the clients that I train, it's all compounds and it's all free weight stuff. Yep. Now, there is some, there's machines there. Yeah. And the machines work and they're, they're in good, they're maybe a wee bit used, but they're in good nick. They they'll work, they'll, they'll, they'll well. do the job for, it, for everyone. Yeah. So, we've got cable machines, we've got two cable machines. There is a, a lat type of pulley down one, which will just be on our cable machine. Mm -hmm. Leg extension, shoulder press, mm -hmm. um, chest press, incline chest press, and a shoulder press combo. Mm -hmm. Yep. And then everything else is free weight. So, we've got dumbbells, we got a T bar row. We got hip thrust station, and then we have five squat racks. Mm -hmm. It's going to be in there. That's my my favourite part of it. That is um, my favourite part as well. We've also got the safety bar squat. Safety so squat bar. I'm going to play about with that this week. I'm quite excited to train it. Yeah. Um, just mess about with it and do do get back to get back to my roots. Do you know what I said to John last night? I was like, I might compete. She's <laughs> like, what? Compete what? Bodybuilding. Oh. <laughs> so I think. This, oh no! <laughs> hear me out. Hear me right, out. fucking. <laughs> right, get, get that gym patched. No, fucking put it in the bin. No, so the, like um, most PTs will compete to get popularity. Yeah, yeah. It gets traction online. I was like, you know what? I might actually do it just for the sake of getting that. Like, because that's like good marketing. But what I was thinking, I don't want to compete next year, 2023. I'm no. No, it's too soon. Not on a size that I too soon. But I would quite like to get lay the foundations and go into some sort of strength type training. Yeah. And then transition into bodybuilding. That's all. Whether I do it or not, maybe I'm, I'm saying it on the podcast to try and keep me a wee bit more accountable. So maybe I will yeah. do that. Maybe we could do it together. So never know. Uh, yeah. No, <laughs> <laughs> but I, I, I might I might compete in powerlifting once everything's calmed down a wee bit. I so we're going to do that. I no, do. I do yeah. want to. I do want to. But need I need more time. I need at least four days a week training. So. Full full scale. You know what I mean? I do need. I do need that. Yeah. Uh, I think I'm getting back to it because I trained three times last week. Obviously, one was arms, but the two sessions I did have was I smashed it. So going going back into it, right? So. A lot of people wouldn't have started their own business, right? They wouldn't have started anything, even small. I would say opening your own gym is, is a pretty big deal. Obviously, a lot of stresses came with that. What would, this, what would you say is the biggest stresses that you've came across recently? Because it's, it's happened quite quick, but what does it say? Oh, it's happened. Is the, is the, the, was the most stressful part for you? Um, it's kind of hard to say what the most stressful part is. I would say one thing I never thought, like if you, so if anyone's listening to this and you're thinking about opening your own place, open your own business premises, here's some things that I didn't even realise that you had to do. <coughs> Electricity rates are different. Yeah. Nobody fucking tells you that. Are they more expensive or? You, I, you, you have to they're more expensive? You have, to get, you have to negotiate a rate. So depending on your rate will depend on your bill. So they can say your, I don't know, say your rate is one pound per one energy of usage. That can range up to nine pounds. Mm -hmm. Like um, one of the guys there, he was telling us that one of his shops, because it expired his rate his rate went from 40 grand a year to 90 grand a year on electricity and mm -hmm. i was like whoa what the fuck and i've heard this before but i never really understood it mm -hmm. so negotiating a rate is is like a massive deal what he ended up doing was collapsing one part of his business yeah setting up as a new customer under a new business to get a different rate because this is so do, you, do, you, do you think that's why people you see so many of these people and mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. so that's why um, another thing is business rates now luckily with the premises i don't think i need to go through the council on that and um, going through that process just now but you pay business rates to have a business premises. Yeah. It's like a tax, basically. Some business rates you can pay up to like eighty thousand grand eighty thousand pounds a year. And I was yeah. like, what the fuck? Like nobody nobody tells you about this sort of yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With businesses you need to pay water bills. I yeah. was like, what the fuck? Since when? <laughs> <laughs> I don't pay for it in my house, so how do I pay for it here? It's because it's a because it's a business rate. And with wastage, you need to pay um a company to come and collect the waste that's why you see those those waste bins so oh. you you kind of pay x amount a month to see how many pickups you get so yeah. i need to kind of work that out as well so these are all things and i'll probably miss some things as well and 
insurances is another thing. Um, different laws, different practices, and all that sort of stuff. They, that's I still need to do a wee bit of research into that side of things. But I think the way I'm setting up the place with it just being a PT studio, it's one in, one out, mm. and it's you like self-employed PTs. Like you're responsible for having your own insurance. There'll be there'll be contents insurance of, yeah. of the building and stuff yeah. like that. <laughs> that's what kind of makes this model a wee bit easier to open up. But see if it's a gym, there's a lot like this to be proper. Also, that this is the same as well. But fire exits, um, emergency calls. Fire and health, uh, health and health and safety. If you're selling protein, yeah, 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 all that sort of stuff. How are you washing the the cups? Yeah. It has to be a certain temperature of water, water and all that. And I'm like, what yeah, you need to get envi- environmental ah, out to, to, so to check like you and make sure playing, you're okay. Playing music and all that. Now, thankfully, as I said, the style of this business model is a wee bit different to, to, know, to, a, standard to, to, to a standard gym. But I'd like to eventually open it as as a, a semi private gym, but it'll be high ticket memberships to keep it quiet. I, no, keep it quiet but not as much usage yeah if you want a private gym then there you go you, you kind of pay a higher fee for it that's uh-huh. that's what i wanted then there's no just for the average joe or kids to come in and fucking fuck about with yeah um but right now it's about getting getting the pts on board and getting a good environment for for them so i think for anyone listening if you kind of fall into that personal training category what's some of the things that you're quite excited for like this space that it provides that maybe not at gyms provide so i'm excited for the space for the fact that one we can go in, we can bring our cameras in, we can bring our laptops in, we can bring our food in. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be recording content, whether it be for online for our actual clients or for Instagram or for TikTok, etc. Mm. I'm going to be able to go into the other room, I'm going to be able to edit all there, That's I'm going to be able to make my lunch, I'm going to be able to work all in the one space, mm. I'm going to be able to do it all there and I'm not going to get any bother yeah, off any... Yeah. Like there's not going to be as much as I love clients uh, in the public and public gyms uh sometimes I'm 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 I'm, I'm, I'm at work mm. and if someone's talking to me for 10 15 minutes when well, that's 10 15 minutes out of my day it's of working energy, but it's also brain energy so when I go to work I'm like right <sighs> I'm out the zone as well so it's really just bringing that all together and be able to go in I'm going to work mm. I'm going to do this I've got my creativity there and I'm not going to be doing classes. No. <laughs> so it's another bit. <laughs> <laughs> well, what I would say, so see the kitchen, the kitchen area space, that's going to be your hangout, your breakout. Yeah. That's going to be the, the, the space to eat and, and interact with other people that's in there. If, yeah. you, if you want like clients or your fellow PTs and yeah. stuff like that. The room through the back, that's going to, I'm going to make that a, a, an office with a desk and have ports so you can bring your laptop and plug it in. Yeah. Or... Um, I'm going to actually, I think I might bring my own PC in, but I was thinking about putting that in the, in the podcast room. Yeah. So those two rooms are going to be like office type spaces. I'll say you'd use the one at the back if there's a podcast on, like vice versa and things like that. Um, so that, that's, that's the kind of next goal. Mm-hmm. Um, and if this model works, I would like to like move and expand like as well. Cause I think there's a big gap in the market for a very high ticket priced, uh, sorry, high ticket premium, whatever you want to call it. For PT studios, yeah. where it's like, come in, you you run your business, you pay a, a a small fee for it, but you have a business premises that you can that you can work from. Yeah. Um. I don't know. To be fair, I've never worked in pure gyms or JD gyms or anything like that. So I don't know what other gyms is like. I've only got my own experience through through Gym Twenty Four. Yeah. Um. But I think most gyms follow the the a similar process. Uh, no even process, but they are they're tailored to increasing members. Yeah, and it's like PTs is there as a byproduct to help members. Yeah, but yeah. It's more focused towards the members, the member yeah. experience. I want to have this as a focus for. And the that PT that's experience. where a problem as a PT as a personal trainer, being in a gym environment like that, it is focused on getting clients mm-hmm. and making the business money, which is is, is obvious. Like that's what it obviously is. But then that comes at an expense of your personal training business it and is. you building your personal training business. That's why. So that's another question. So I've got to ask you, like. Why did you make this step, and why did you why did you go for it straight away? Why was it, and what was your thinking when you you were offered look this could happen? What was your thinking behind that? So when it was when I was offered the opportunity, it was do you want a gym? And straight away I was like nah, <laughs> nah. Like like I've seen seen the kind of stresses and headaches of trying to staff a place, trying to keep your keep the member count coming in, and more or less to the point is there's a JD gym opening mm-hmm. right down the road. Mm. Um, these are big corporate monsters and, and albeit there's some fantastic small independent gyms mm. in and around Coat Bridge and, and Airdrie. I just don't think having another one in the mix is going to be any good. No. However, see if I went down the gym, I know how, like how I would market my gym just now. If anyone's listening and you fall into that camp or you're a PT that works in there, then the feedback I would have for gyms is no. 
how do I get my how do I get more members to come at me instead of JD, my market, and then shifts to the X amount of people that are working out just now. Yeah, there's X amount of people not working out. Yeah. How do I market people just to work out? Even if I push them to JD, mm-hmm. if I can be a voice that goes, you know what, that made sense. They done a, an episode on why lifting weights is important. Yeah, and that's how my market would be to get more members. Yeah. into my gym or just into working out because that's my purpose. So yeah, it leads nicely on the next point. My purpose is always how can I help as many people as I can. Mm-hmm. Working in a gym, I can only help the people in that gym. Yeah, and that's why I'm I'm so uh, like active on the, not influencer game, but that's why I'm active in producing social media content because yeah. it hits a wider audience. Even if one of my posts helps one person that's got nothing to do with living in Wishaw, living around North Lanarkshire, and lives at the other side of the world, if that sparks them to to, to get into health and fitness and that's do their own thing, that, that is a huge win. So that's what gives me passion to do what I'm doing. Mm. Um, I'm torn between driving from, so I drive from Airdrie to the gym, to Gym 24, then do a wee bit of content in there. Content then became harder, the busier the gym got. Yeah, I'm like, so, I was the same. I, was I, the same. I think Sundays and stuff, we had that planned in, we were both doing content together, and albeit this is a quiet period of the gym, it's, it's becoming a wee bit awkward, no awkward, I'm, I'm not awkward when it comes to it, but it's just very distracting when yeah. you try to create content. Yeah. Um, then drive down to G4 to do our, our podcast, which is great, having this in, and then back to my garage gym. So I've been fortunate that I've got a garage gym. I've got an own space that I can do it. Yeah. And I was recording in there, and I was like, imagine this was it. It was just one stop That's where it. I can do everything. Everything the one. Because the more and more I thought about it, I was like, right, why don't I just go back to training, go yeah. to my garage? And I was like, mm. It's, it's there's not, not enough. Ex- there's it's not, not enough. a good experience for the client. Yeah, yeah. Very small box. Just not enough. A big disconnect. Yeah. So that's how when when, they op- when when I started thinking about it and kind of playing out each scenario in my brain, I was like, right, this is going to be a good space. This yeah. is this is actually like if it if I rather than see it as a gym or a PT studio, think of it as a content creation yeah. space. <coughs> now that makes people like, well, what the hell does that mean? Aye. But it, it makes sense to you because it makes sense to me. Yeah, well, I don't understand it completely. Yeah, and it means that I can get any any person in. I can create a gym environment. For them. For, for a, a member, for a prospect, or whatever you want yeah. to call them. To Ta- tailored to anyone. Exactly, and, and show them that, look, here's how squat racks can tend to work. Yeah. This is different layouts, and I'd like to kind of get to the point where I do have good relationships with like local gyms in the area, so I, yeah. I know how their gym's set up. Yeah. That's what I'll do for my own market research, because mm-hmm. if I start getting people coming over to Airdrie, and they're like, right, I go to, I go to JD in Coatbridge, or I go to this gym in Glasgow. I'd like to go to these gyms so I know the layouts of it, so I can speak directly to them. That's yeah. what help me increase my um, experience that I give to that client. So um, it was after that, it was, a, it was a done deal. It just became, how much is this going to cost and how the fuck do you come up with that money? Yeah, and yeah. You, like, this is one thing that surprised me. I seen this to John the other day. I had maybe, savings-wise, had about six grand to my name. And I just went on a property course because I was starting to tap into property. Spent about four yeah, and going through uh, this course. Yeah, and I was in a position where I was like, right, if I can go like so, properties are great. Even the the current conditions in the market, property. The way I was looking at property is this is a way for me to create wealth, wealth, but also fund more of the stuff I want to do in yeah, yeah, and fitness. Yeah. I never want to be a property run business, but there is aspects to the property part where I can get good cash flow to invest back in in my coaching side of things. Yeah. So this is all came at the worst, probably the worst possible time that this could have happened this year because I've yeah. already four, Put, grand, a lot of money. four grand out of pocket and then another grand on something else as well, uh, a marketing strategy type thing. Um, so it was 5k down and then I was like, right, now I need to open this PT studio. I think it's quite good for everyone else to hear this and obviously you're, you're, you're explaining how much money you spent and how much money you had and how much you're like, fuck. People are very taboo with this. Yeah, exactly. It's not even the fact that you spent this and you had this, it's the fact that it takes that amount of money to build your business, yeah. to build your brand, to build what you want. Mm-hmm. It takes a lot of money and a lot of time. And so many people out there are scared to spend that. Like me, look. That's why I took a step back and yeah. I went, you know, this isn't for me at this no. moment in time. Cool. That's why I'm coming on as a personal trainer only. So if anybody doesn't know that, I'm only going over as a personal trainer because it wasn't the right time for me. Mm-hmm. That would have just put me under too much stress. And no. you, you know that. We, we, we've spoke about that. But... For anybody listening, if you want something, at the same time, you still need to put out a lot. Aye. And, and no one will be able to do this in terms of the... No. House li- so I, I I was calculating last night, so to paint the whole room black, that'll like be very transparent in all these numbers mm. um, for anyone that's ever thought about it. So to paint that whole room back black, I got a good price. So I got a quote from a guy, 
one of my clients, very good friend, and he was like, yeah, I'll, I'll help you out. Probably cost me three and a half grand. I was like, fuck. And then I was like, maybe I'll just paint it. And then another guy came, got an boy to do it for um, 1500 So I was like, right, cool, done deal. That's all I need to have. So that's a lot of money up front. Yeah. So I paint the whole room. Changes the aesthetic straight away. So for me, it was getting the aesthetics right. Massive it's, change, massive. It, it, as soon as you get that, so I knew I wanted black room, black floors, and good LED lighting. Yeah. So the next thing was then equipment, right? What equipment's in there, right? We got squat racks. As soon as I knew squat racks were in there, I was like, right, good. That's all I really need. To, I can, I can make then, this the, work then what squat else? Rack. What, what uh, else can we keep that would that would still add, but the squat racks make it? I, I exactly. So because I was like, right. That's a that, that's a done deal because I don't like squat racks won't give me the ability to create the content and train the people that I want to train because I would just shift my market and a wee bit too right. I'm just training you for compound lifts. That's what that's where I was going in my brain. Mm. And I was like, oh well, there's cable machines here. There's some good equipment in there. Mm. So got ready all the stuff that I didn't want treadmills all that all that malarkey and just kept it to the fundamentals. Mm. And then I became right. Let's price up stuff that you get barbells. Wanted the coloured weight plates just because, again, it's all about the aesthetics. Yeah, it looks good. It does well. look good. Now, you don't want it all show, no go as well. So, I wanted good quality stuff. Um, so, got a bunch of stuff from Primo, um, got some stuff from Strength Shop. Um, uh, so, it was barbells, dumbbells, and uh, what was the other one? Oh, plates. 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 And, and that's pretty much it. Like, the, the uh, ideally, yes, I would like to spend a wee bit more money and get some more machines and plate loaded stuff. That'll like come in time. Up. It will. It will come in time. But it's, it's, for me, it was like, how do I get this open as quickly as possible? Yeah. Because I will miss the opportunity if I turn around and say, I can't do that for another six months. They would just take that opportunity. Somebody some deals. Else. Some deals would take it. And like, you'd be surprised that when you put your mind to something, what you can come up with. Yeah. So I managed to raise... Just shy of twenty grand mm-hmm. in in that short space of time, and that's what's been spent on this. So, so I've spent fifteen hundred on that. I got ten. I got a ten grand loan to buy the plates and barbells and dumbbells and all that sort of stuff. And then for the equipment in there, it was roughly about six and a half, which was you will not get that for for, no. for that price. I think no, it's, no, no. It's this is what I mean as well. Like this opportunity, like very rare does that come up that a gym is closing down. The equipment is still there. Is up for grabs for a very very good price. Yeah, like they, they needed to go. So I was like, right, I need to jump on this. Yeah, gym equipment is very very expensive for anyone listening. Mm-hmm. Super fucking expensive. People don't understand. No, it's crazy. So I'm about eighteen in just now. The grass, the stripper astro grass was about 400 and then I was raging because I went into carpet right at the weekend and there was a big strip and it was good quality and it was like 400. Oh, no, no, you t- yeah, you like. told me. And I was like, oh, and I was like fuck, <laughs> fuck it, you know what, yeah, these, are, these are all experiences. Shit, never know. shit happens. Never know if I'm going to But at the end of the day, that's hindsight because at exactly. the end of the day, you need to get it. If you think it's a good price, you go and get it and get it done. That's that stress alleviated. When you're running a business, you need to get the stress alleviated as quickly as possible. Yeah, you want to find the best price, but yeah, you want to get it done as quickly as you possibly can. Uh, so that, that's a couple hundred pounds. Um, getting the paint and all that, maybe like, for, so I painted the hall, um, changing the, the, the look of the hall. And then the MDF boards, that was like 300 quid for just, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, what? what? <laughs> Timber and all that Fucking sort of brutal. stuff. So um, thankfully my, my dad's a joiner. So he's been giving us a big hand with this. The last piece is getting the studio built. So getting the, the podcast room where we're yeah. going to podcast. So we've got a podcast on the gym floor, but we're going to make it a, a soundproof room, an enclosed room that we can... Again, that gives us that less travel sure. time again. Exactly. As we spoke about, we don't need to travel for content now. We can just do it there, do it there, PT, same place, and podcast in the Aye. exact same place, edit in the same place. It is just going to be so efficient. Aye, so it's a one-stop shop for that. Yep. The last big piece of spending will be on equipment, on um, yeah, cameras. Cameras and that. Which, which, which will like be that. both of us. Yeah, yeah, so that part, like, we are still like, don't get me wrong, like, even though you're you're stepping back for the, the actual gym side, side of things, you're still very involved with, the, with, with the this. Podcast, this is yeah. this is this is both our podcasts. It's not. Yeah, yeah. So this is where it's going to get a wee bit confusing. So we'll probably this ma- or do away with the, the Instagram page, and well, I don't know. It probably makes sense because it's like duplicating our content. Into yeah, yeah, You want yeah. to grow your content. Yeah, grow mine, and we grow it together. Yeah, I think I don't. I don't think it was a. I don't think it was a mistake. It was just one of the ones where we just didn't know. We didn't know there was going to be a PT should do. Yeah, coming exactly, <laughs> exactly. So like for me, it just didn't make sense to have a bulletproof mindset. Business page, bulletproof fitness business Aye. page, coach crosser page, and then your raw gym fit. It's just so much content you try and do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you've got YouTube and TikTok. So I think the YouTube will, will the, the, also the channel that we upload this in, this will all still be bulletproof mindset, but there will be a creation of bulletproof yeah. fitness so that we's, there's a there's a brand of 
um, a brand that's out there that, that PTs and you know, oh, you know what, I want to work. Yeah. That's a good place to work. That's, that's what I want so I'll to. answer this question as well, but what you at, this is la- say the last question on this, right? What is the benefit of someone coming to train at, we'll call it Bulletproof Fitness at the moment, mm-hmm. compared to... Member? What? You, you mean as a member or as a PT? As, as, a, as a personal training client. What is the benefit of coming there to anybody else? So this is where marketing, I probably need to draft up the exact marketing. Now. It's going to piss off. No, so no, no, t- just tell me. Aye, tell so me straight. I don't, I don't give a fuck who you're pissing off. <laughs> right? Tell me straight, right? No, I'll go straight to it. So, I think um, I'm Piers Morgan, right? <laughs> fucking look like What? <laughs> <laughs> what is the benefit of someone coming to Bulletproof Fitness compared to any other gym? So any, any, public, gym. any public commercial gym, whatever you want to call it, there is other members that's going to be in there. Mm-hmm. This will only ever be PT to client. This mm-hmm. isn't going to be open to public. Yep. So you have an enclosed environment to mm-hmm. train. You don't have the awkward situation where even if there's five to ten PTs in, you'll get on what you need to get on plan. So you'll note yourself, you've had a plan for a client and you have to change it up just because of the time that you're training at. The the business environment feel, feeling that sadly is is everybody puts a lot of people off five to eight, five to seven o'clock. That's so, usually and that's when most people finish work. So like, I want PT then. Ah, exactly. So it's usually the the hot spot to train. Yeah. Now the taking your time with everything as well. Like there's no rush to get yeah. Get off this, got off this. Because you, because you're like, all oh, right, somebody's needing that. Yeah. I think that's another benefit as well. Yeah. Now the content that gets created, I would say, is another benefit because I'll be training people in that gym, but then they will see demonstration videos of that gym as yeah. well. So they they can see they can home in those coaching cues. Yep. Um, and I think that that's really the only benefit I can mainly think of that would be. The one that supersedes any other one. Like right. training with a PT is like, it's the same everywhere else, but that's the one thing that flicks the switch for me. And so. also like, <clears throat> when you're in there, everyone is also getting personal trained off someone else, so they're in the exact same position as you. Mm-hmm. You're not going into this gym and someone is absolutely jacked to the bone. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And you're you're like, oh fuck, I'm not at the same level as them. Like, everyone in there is getting personal trained to be better. Obviously, everyone in a normal gym environment should be there to get better, but everyone is yeah. there to be personal trained to get better. And the, the environment that that'll create as well, because I'm not taking any personal trainer that's coming into that place if they're a dick and they've got a door face and they're trying yeah. to be a certain niche and like they that's not a fit for the, the environment I want to create. Mm. So like, you know, when both our clients are in, we have banter with each other, mm-hmm. our clients end up talking to each other, it yeah. engages them. So I want more people like that. And I know we've got a name. Like everyone, knows your, everyone knows me, everyone knows you, even if they're your client, even if they're my clients, I go, oh, Dale, and I go, obviously, they all know. Exactly. And that's that's another thing. You want every other person to in there to be like that. Exactly. So we've got, we've got one one other PT that's going to be coming on board, but we'll announce that. And when is that soon? Aye, well, I'm probably going to announce it at the moment, but we don't, we don't, don't worry. Just in case. Just in case. They're, in case. Not, ready, they're not ready for that as yeah. well, but um, excited for that and then excited to really to, to, to grow up from there. So, yeah. Aye, I'm looking forward to it. I think that's spot on. I think, obviously, as I just said, it, it just, I think by going into detail, it explains to everybody, well, is that what's in- included? Because Dale goes in probably every Saturday, Sunday, doing something. Most up, nights, up, I think. Up, up, yeah, up, up, yeah. Up, up every night, uh, sorting something. It's not easy, uh, especially when you've already got a business to run. Jumping back and forth. Jumping back and forth. And obviously, Manny, Jim24 and Tony, they've, that's what they've already done. Mm-hmm. Uh, and well, they, there's massive respect for them. Like, yeah, yeah, done, to be able like, to do that. Because I'm like looking about his and I'm like, wow, he's got his, his wiring. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's got the you're alarms looking at, and all that. You're looking like, at all the small like, points that like, he had to do that. I know. They, he they, had they, to get that done. Even the skirting boards and I'm like, oh, man, he's like the mats. He's like... He's glued these mats down perfect. Ah, yeah, he's <laughs> stuff like that the average Jill and Joe would never really fucking pick up on. But then I'm look, I'm looking about and I'm like there's not one single. So when you go into a gym and it's in and it's good condition, respect it. Aye, aye. respect. And it. look, the the corporate ones, they're they're clean cut. It's, it's models that they built up. It's even more impressive from a um, small independent gym. Uh-huh. Um, like you're like there's a bunch all over Coke Bridge that I've not even had the chance to go to yet. But yeah. We, I'll be going to them um, to kind of spark relationships. I mean, and stuff like your drink coat badge does have a few quality gyms. They do, they yeah, do. 100%. Um, independent ones as well. So hopefully it doesn't shake up too much of the market with JD coming in there and, and, and that. But look, it's good for people. Yeah. You need to step your game up. This is why, in one set, like New Age opening like five doors up for, for Gym 24, yeah, it's shit. There's another gym in the same street. But look, see for the, the, the public. It's good because mm-hmm. if you don't like one, there's another one competing against it, and you can't drop your game. Can not be complacent? Mm-hmm. If you truly want to, two help gyms people, have to be really, really good. Aye, on the ball. So everybody in Airdrie and Coatbridge now Reason needs to be really, really Reason good. Game, yeah. Yep. So I, I think it's a good market to tap into, um, and we'll see. We'll see from here. Look, look, 
people might be listening to this going, oh, that's a lot of money, so that... My mindset is, like, like, you'll be surprised when you put your mind to it, like, what you can come up with for funding. Um, you you just need to weigh out the pros and cons. And for me... Just money, go for it. Money can always be made. And I, I know more so. If I never took this now, I'd be regretting this a couple of years down, six months down the line. Because it would it'd annoy me if i seen somebody else going in and like, oh, that could have been mine. I could have been doing that. Yeah. I could have been doing this. I know it's going to be hard work to set up, but I'm I'm all here for it and I'm ready to... This is, a con- this is something really controversial that I would say, but... Uh, I see this to my girlfriend all day, and I oh, like see people say I can't get a job. I can't get a job. I was unemployed for maybe seven, eight weeks, but I still had like wee bits and bobs that I could do, known that way, <laughs> 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 no, no, in a dodgy way. But I, I, I got, I got uh, agency work there and then, and it wasn't because of the work that I'd done before. It was because it was shit jobs. There is always money to be made. Uh, there is, there's a lot of shit jobs out there. But for me, I this like I quit my job. I moved away from that and. And I've I kind of made a pact with myself that when I quit that job, that I'm going to do everything in my power to, to keep, get there, keep, keep keep doing what I love. Yeah, like, and there's different ways in the health and fitness space that you can work. So mm-hmm. this might be one of them that I try and go. Mm, that tried it, but it's no it's no for me. But I can't see that going down. No, I can't I see. It, I can't like, see it going everything, that. I can feel it in my gut that it's like right. Like, this is the right thing to be doing. One hundred percent. And that's right. how it's hard to communicate. That was a nice serious chat. So we're going to end this podcast on an embarrassing story, right? Because it was, I, I fucking love that chat. Like I think it's really fucking Being good. Transparent, Being transparent. Yeah. yeah, telling everybody this is how it works. And they go, fuck, is that, is that how it works? <laughs> no, I mean, is that how a podcast works? Is that how a gym works? Is that how much it costs? I know. No, I mean, it's and people are like, fuck man. They've talk also, about costs. Yeah. Is mere costs in the podcast as well. Like we 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 run this at a loss, but this is because we want to put out as much free content. Yeah, yeah. We don't make any money from this. But if you want to support us, then my PayPal is in it. <laughs> I'm going. I'm going to start saying this every podcast my paypal's in the description <laughs> put it in there <laughs> so let, let, let's end this embarrassing all, like, story then embarrassing story because we've just said how we're all, you're opening a gym and we're doing a podcast and we're doing really well let, let's fucking let's end on an embarrassing note what's yours I've, I've, right, so I've, also, I've got a few embarrassing stories but really? I think I'll, I think I'll go for the the one that people go fucking hell so I was doing deadlifts and I'd had a pair of peas the day before right what? a pair of peas Oh, peppies. Aye, pity, 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 pity. Right. So I get extra hot. So I'm warming up and I, I've done a few shites that morning. <laughs> a few? A few, a few. <laughs> uh, no, after a peppies half, my, my belly is a bit dodgy. So I'm doing deficit deadlifts, I remember it well. So with a deficit deadlifts, you need to start a lot, a wee bit lower. So you need to push you a bit harder, put it that way. So I do one set, and I go, fucking hell, that was quite hard. So I do my second set, and it's like the second rep, and I, I'm feeling like quite dodgy. I get to the end of it, I'm like, I'm not sure. <laughs> and I went into the toilet and I'd shat myself. <laughs> Just to go home. I, well, there was shit all in my boxes, so I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, oh, fuck. But see, that way I was just like, see, because I was just tensing so hard yeah, anyway. I didn't know. I didn't know, like, I'd actually jobbed. Oh my God. Right, so I went into the toilet, took my boxers off. Did you leave them? No, no, I didn't take my boxers off. I didn't take my boxers <laughs> off. Just leave them? No, what I done, right? I'll, I'll, be, I'll be brutally honest here. I wiped it with Totoro, right? And so, like, when I obviously put them back up, I didn't have, like, mere shite on my ass. <laughs> right? Go back up, went, put all my weights away, and then I went, right, I'll see you later, I'll be back soon. Wash your horns. Ah, I wash my horns, <laughs> obviously, I wash my horns after a pish. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, aye, so I shot myself in the gym. Oh, my God. Do you know, a wee bit of jobbies came out in one of my squats. I, I don't think that's embarrassing, I think it's just fucking happens on heavy sets sometimes. But, see, for me, I was, I was that, like, mortified with mine. Cause I was in a pure gym in, in Nottingham and, and I remember a guy going, that's good weight. Cause I, like, I, I think, what was it I had? I had three 20 plates on and maybe a five on each side. So, so 150. One, aye, 150. And this was like five years ago as well. Some like early, early 20s. 23. And squatted down and then I came up and I was like, mm, I didn't feel right. And I re-racked it and I wanted to go to the toilet and the guy goes, I heard that's good weight. And I was like, like a guy. Aye, 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 really good weight. And I went, oh, and I was like, oh my God. <laughs> and I was that mortified. I just left. So I left the plates on in that gym. So that would have even caused me like, why'd you leave those? You left your fucking plates on. Um, but embarrassing stories, like for me, probably missing the the weights like see like when you've got videos where aye, you like, go to re-rack it and you miss it I think that's more embarrassing because you make a big loud clutter and bang aye, aye. You're like, hur, hur, hur. so uh, this has happened a few times to me I used to like before I don't know if you remember gyms like you never had racks like uh, you never had like the like the crossfit type stations like they big like aye, aye. multiple racks at one time aye, aye, you aye. just had your standard racks aye, so aye. they started coming into pure gyms 
I remember the one that I went to Sheffield, like I'd set up like the squat in there and I've got the video on my phone and I was videoing my set and I was like, I'm going for fucking, I'm going for heavy today. And I went down and I came up and I was like, nah, nah, no got this. Now, this is before I'd learned a proper bail. So I went to like, I was like, nah, I've not got this. So I went down and then I had to go backwards. So I just fell back and go, <laughs> <laughs> my feet went on there. But see the bang that it made, man. Every cunt was looking at me and my face was so red. That was the one, like doing that now, it wouldn't bother me. I aye, genuinely aye. wouldn't be phased. Because I know aye. everybody in the gym, I'd like, ah, fucked it, man. But see then when you're like, I was still a wee bit intimidated. Aye, I was setting up my phone secretly to film myself. So I would be dead bold and just film myself. But seeing everybody look at me, man, because I was like, oh, fuck, man. How, how much weight was that? It wasn't even that much. I think I, think I put. I remember putting in a oh, squatted three plates, but it was like a twenty, a ten, and a ten. Just <laughs> yeah, fucker, yeah. <laughs> no, I knew it wasn't three plates. Ah, yeah, yeah, saying, yeah. Oh, look at me squatting three, three plates. plates. But I fucked it. I fucked it. I actually remember seeing back to an you know, exercise for less. There was a captain's chair, so that's where you do dips and like your knee raises and shit. And uh, my pals learned to calisthenics, and they could do like a, a handstand. Mm-hmm. So like. If my pal wasn't there, I would have took the full captain's chair with me. Oh, really? So I went to do the handstand. and <laughs> No, so obviously, if I went like to do the handstand, put my legs up, and they just kept going. <laughs> and I hit, the, I hit the other side, and my pal had to flip me back here. But obviously, if my pal didn't flip me, yeah. I would have just took the full chair with me. Imagine that. Oh, man. That's bad. That's no, because obviously, you get up, and you're like, oh! <laughs> <laughs> you, You've got a few failing lifts, but I failed a lift in... Uh, lockdown in my garage gym as well and I was videoing it and I was like oh, I'm going for this and you can see me in my video got the music blasting Jillian's in the kitchen at this point so I go back and I take it and I'm like Ugh! and I'm like no and I came down and I'm like Jillian Jillian <laughs> and I'm like fuck and then I roll it down break all my rib cage ah yeah, yeah it does it does does, up, does that does was up. I wouldn't need it like I don't get embarrassed that easy no like, I don't I get embarrassed so. by feeling lifts but I didn't like shit myself <laughs> you shit yourself like. aye, no, aye. I think I think missing the rack was embarrassing think so aye aye when I missed the rack because I've, I've done the lift missed the rack <laughs> you're like look at me you're like oh, I'm fucking bad <laughs> <laughs> like I gimped <laughs> oh no but <laughs> that's the thing shit happens like, we, we, like I, I, <laughs> shit happens I didn't mean that I didn't even mean that but like so many of my clients like, I don't want to feel I don't want to feel I was like fuck you can't feel like this and I show them a video like nah I can't feel like that I'm like exactly so fucking do it I told this on Gavin's podcast um, she, she might listen to this as well but what was, have you got embarrassing stories of your clients oh aye aye any you want to share ah she, she, she's listening to the podcast now so she, she might hear this one but it was funny like I, I, it was the first person I go to do proper jumps so she she jump half a box and then land and get the spring up right. And she was like, I've no good coordination. I was like, yeah, we're fine. <laughs> <laughs> I was wrong. <laughs> so I put, it, I put it quite low for her. And uh, <laughs> she, so she jumped out the box, landed. I don't even know what the jump was. So one foot landed on, one foot landed to the side. She tried to grab onto the, like, all the, the racking. Mm-hmm. Fucking fell into all the stuff. And like... Like all the fell into all the metal, all the fucking so let's see those other hurdles, etc. Oh she bang. fell into all that. Did you, oh my God. And I was like, Oh no. It was a first ever session. Did it was a first ever it? session. Oh I was like, Oh fuck. I was like, I felt really bad. I was like, up, up. So you see if it's somebody's first session and they do that, you know, they might never come back. It could be it really could have been. I was like, Oh no. Oh, fuck this. See, what, like you're talking about first ever session. I'm going to say the person's name, but I got done, I got them a day like a combat stretch. So it's like a footballer stretch, you know, on one knee, you put the other foot in front of the other, drive the knee over the toes aye, aye. to look at ankle ankle flexion. And this, like, obviously not not very mobile, not being in this stance. And got her down, one knee in front of the other, and she fell backwards and done like a backwards roly poly. And I was like, <laughs> I bet and she was she was mortified but laughing at the same time but I always point back to that and I'm like here nothing's more embarrassing than what you done that day like, Aye, so you can never get ever ever that. ever but there's another one like um, we were doing dips we were doing banded <laughs> banded assisted dips and I don't think this is funny but I keep laughing now because the person made a scene yet so we had a strong band on and she's like if I jump on that I'll rock about I'll look like an idiot and I goes no you won't look brought the band down and I done it and I goes look you just need to keep your core tense and then that'll That'd stop right. you from rocking and she put her, she went up into her dip stance got her set up in the the, the band and she went to go down and she was like she was <laughs> swinging all over the place and she started laughing and I tried not to start laughing and she's 
<laughs> swinging left to right, and I was like, "See, he wasn't that bad." Was it? And she was like, "His face was bright red." See, when you know you've like, I fucked that fuck exercise. I probably shouldn't have put. I, that I, I've done that. I've done that so many times. I mean, the gym was fucking mobbed, but there was one bench available. We had to take somewhere else. Somebody was doing hip thrust right behind them, and I always teach clients: look, both uh, dumbbells on both legs and the middle of the legs, forearms and eighty degrees. The bag? Aye, aye. I think I remember seeing that. Right. <laughs> so I tell them. I, I, I tell everybody to do the same thing so you're nice and stable so I say middle of the legs flip the knees back let it rest let it rest <laughs> let, let it rest and then press the dumbbells up what a lot of people do is when they hear that they go right I'm going to swing them straight up straight away up. so he done that and he went all the way back <laughs> <laughs> but it's not it's not the only person I've had do it but he done it in a really bad position because somebody's, it, hip somebody's behind right, right behind him I'm like that Oh, right, 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 right. I was like, you fucking watch what you're doing. <laughs> fucking watch what you're doing. Man, Sean's going to be fucked if you do that. <laughs> you're fucking game over. <laughs> oh, they're funny, funny. We, could probably t- we actually should do an episode on comparison stories. We but, should, we should. Um, aye, we bit a different episode for you guys, so we're going to try and do like more of like relaxed conversation exercise, uh, exercises. <laughs> <laughs> do <Too> much <laughs> lifting weights! <laughs> um, but aye, so I uh, said earlier in the podcast, biggest way that you can support us while doing this is my PayPal. <laughs> isn't JJ's <laughs> PayPal, but it's actually <laughs> just supporting and sharing the page. Yeah, like, 100%. Honestly, like I know like everybody's seen Oh, I can't put much in my. T- You've ever seen these Instagrams of people like clients who follow you and they don't have any grid posts and it's just stories all the time, like because they don't want to be. It's too cool to like post a grid oh, post and that. Like, mate. Get over yourselves and share our stuff, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> share our stuff everywhere. No, um, no but seriously, we, we're getting tremendous support from everyone. So. Yep. A big thank you for you guys for tuning in. This is probably one of our longest episodes other than the, the interview one. So we thank you guys for, for tuning in. You can find us at Bulletproof Mindset UK on Instagram. And you can find me at Roger Fit. And you can find me at Coach Crosser. See you guys soon. Have a nice one.